We have seen that RAM memory is volatile. In other words, if you lose power, all your data is lost. ROM isn't volatile, however, it is read-only, so we can't change the data it is storing. We need to use memory that will allow us to write to it and will store the data even when there is no power. Such memory is called secondary storage. This secondary storage can refer to things like hard disk drives, solid state drives, and optical disks like DVDs and Blu-ray. These devices are always non-volatile, usually hold more data than RAM, and are usually a lot cheaper than RAM or cache memory. However, secondary storage is also usually a lot slower than main memory. The importance of secondary storage can be seen when trying to run a program on your computer. When we install a new piece of software, it is stored on our secondary storage device. When we decide to use this new program, the instructions for it will be copied into main memory so they can be quickly passed to and from the CPU. When we close the program or turn off your computer, the program instructions will be deleted from main memory, but that's okay because they still exist in our secondary storage. If we didn't have secondary storage and only had RAM, then we'd need to reinstall the software every time we wanted to use it. Terribly inefficient. But of course, if we didn't have main memory, then the CPU would need to fetch instructions from secondary storage, which would be very slow. So this means we of course need both primary storage and secondary storage for our computer to work efficiently. Perhaps the most common form of secondary storage is the hard disk drive, which is a form of magnetic storage. There are different forms of magnetic storage, such as the floppy disk and magnetic tape, but they are not commonly used anymore. Magnetic storage works by storing individual bits of data as either north-south, representing binary zero, or south-north, representing binary one on a magnetic tape or disk. As we learned previously, computers only understand binary numbers, ones and zeros, so we only need to be able to store these two different values. A hard disk drive is made up of a stack of disks with a magnetized coating. These disks are known as platters. These platters sit on a spindle which the disk will spin on so we can find the right place when reading or writing data. The hard disk drive also has a read-write head. This moves across the platters as it's spinning to locate the track and sector where we want to read or write to. When writing, this can then change the magnetization to store the data. What are the relevant features of hard disk drives though? Capacity. Because you can use both sides of the platter and you can increase the number of platters, they have a very large storage capacity. Speed. Because there are lots of moving parts, magnetic hard disk drives are relatively slow to read and write data. The disk needs to spin into place and then the read write head needs to find the right track and sector. This takes time. Portability. Because hard disk drives are not very durable, they are not very good as portable storage devices. They are also bulkier and heavier than most alternatives. Durability. Due to having a lot of small moving parts, they can be easily broken or damaged if dropped, or potentially even knocked heavily. Reliability. Generally speaking, magnetic storage is very reliable. They can handle an infinite number of writes, and if a platter does fail, data could be stored on the other platters. Cost. On a per megabyte basis, magnetic storage is very cheap. For example, a one terabyte solid state drive would typically cost three to four times more than a one terabyte hard disk drive. Overall, hard disk drives are used often as the main internal storage device used in personal computer systems. This is due to their low cost, excellent storage capacity, and good reliability. They have become less popular in more recent laptops though due to their size, lack of durability and the improved capacity of solid state drives in recent years. Hard disk drives can also be used as external storage devices. For the same reason they are popular for internal storage, external hard disk drives are very popular for backing up data that can then be stored in a safe remote location. So, secondary storage are devices that are used for long term storage of data. Magnetic hard drives are made up of platters and can store lots of data. They are relatively slow and can be easily damaged. They are cheap to buy and can be used indefinitely. They are commonly used as the main internal storage device for personal computers. External hard disk drives can also be commonly used for external backups of data.